Hello and welcome to the American Kempo Quick Reference App Overview for Android. The Quick Reference App is presented to you by Epax. Let's start the app and you'll be presented with the splash screen while the app loads. Once the app finishes loading you'll be presented with the information selector menu. This menu allows me to select different pieces of information that are available to me for my specific category. That category is presented to me up at the top line of the app. We'll get more into that in just a moment. So let's select a piece of information and you'll notice that the app presents you with the information I chose. The reason I know that is because the piece of information that I selected out of the menu is presented on the second line of the app and then the data is presented in the rest of the app screen. The next thing you'll notice is the plus and minus down here. These are standard Android, contr Android controls and they allow you to zoom in and out of what you're viewing, in this case the font size. But the first thing that you'll notice once you've done this is that if I now switch to a different piece of information, the font will revert back to its normal size. There is a way to make the font size larger and smaller and be persistent and we'll get into that in just a moment. It's in the preferences. We've discussed how to change different pieces of information within a category, so let's now discuss how to change a category. That's what this top line is about. I can select anywhere up at the top line, and I'm presented with a menu option of all the different categories. Currently, there are four of them. I know that I'm currently in theory because theory is grayed out, and I cannot select it because I'm already on it. So I can go over and select a different category, for instance, curriculum, and now I'm presented with a menu selector for the different pieces of information inside curriculum and you'll notice the top line now says curriculum. I then choose that piece of information that I'm interested in and it works just like we did in the other theory category. I can then change between my categories of information as I see fit and I can move back and forth between the different pieces of information. That's basically all there is to moving between the information so let's talk about some of the preferences that you have now available to you. Down at the bottom you have the standard menu control and you're presented with two pieces of information. One is the about. That just shows you the splash screen and what version of the app you are currently running. Then you have the preferences. The preferences allow you to customize the app to persist between different pieces, looking at different pieces of information and different runs of the application. So let's take a look at the first one. Font size. Font size, you're presented with one of five possible sizes. By default, you're presented with normal. Let's show you what would happen if you choose a larger size. If I now go back, you'll notice that the font size is now larger. And if I switch between the different pieces of information, the font star size stays larger. If I go back into the preferences, I can then change back to the normal size font. You'll notice the font reverts back to the size we had it before before. Let's go into the other piece of preferences that we can change. Auto select item. You'll notice that as we move between the different categories that we were automatically presented with the menu item to select the different piece of information that we're interested in. If I don't want to do that, I can turn that off and now as I move between the different categories, I'm not presented with a menu item, but I can then pull up the menu item as I see fit. The advantage of this one is I don't have to select the piece of information and as I move between the different categories I'm presented back where I was when I was previously on that p category. For instance, let's talk about miscellaneous, let's choose the first one. Breathing, breathing benefits, let's move over to theory and then back to miscellaneous and you notice we're back on breathing benefits. Also if I leave the app and come back in. I would be put right back where I was into the mis miscellaneous category and breathing benefits. So to show you one more time, if I move over to movement, choose derivation of basic names, leave, come back into the app, you'll notice that I'm presented right back on that same tab with the same piece of information presented to me. One last thing to note about this app is that you'll notice that we've made the app extremely simple. This is so that you can concentrate on the information that we're presenting to you rather than concentrating on trying to use the app. I hope that you enjoy the app and I hope you get many hours of studying the information in the app. That's what it's produced for. Thank you very much.